Good afternoon. And Lord, is it afternoon or morning where you are? Mrs. Anthony and Cheryl from Faith Five doing a part two presentation to you. Just again, our Faith Five continuing on our theme of making room for God. And abstinence and engagement. Abstinence. Abstinence. Yes. And engagement. And that is so important. How does abstinence come into making room for God? Mm -hmm. We were looking at Colossians chapter 3 the last time. And basically what it was just saying that we had now, since we've been risen with Christ, mm -hmm. we're to seek the things which are above. Mm -hmm. And the things that are above really refers to Christ living on this inside of us because we're seated together with him. Mm -hmm. And so it is so important that the life of Christ be formed in us. And for that life of Christ to be formed in us, when we become born again, there are some things we're going to have to abstain from. Hence abstinence. And when we, we begin to abstain, then there are things that we are now ready to engage with Fully. So the space, you see, once you abstain from something, you, you have to make room for something else. Yes. We can't just stop cursing bad word and cursing the people and don't in put in, in, in its place now the blessing plan. Yes. To pray for people, to bless them and not curse them. To encourage them. And to encourage them and begin to speak these things. So you're making room. By abstaining from the grumbling, the complaining, and now making room in your life so you can be able now to be a blessing. It's interesting that you keep using the complaining because that yeah. is so much of us now. You know, a lot of us who are born again, who are Christians, we, are so, we found ways mm -hmm. to actually make room for complaining, for judging, for arguing. And We've then we not, turn around and yes. say... And praise God. Yeah. And give God thanks. Yeah. And how good God is. But the same person is going to turn around and say something else. So we have in our lives two different spirits. At work. At work. And Paul said that's not supposed to be. Yeah. How can the same spring, the same water flow bring good and evil? Yes. Bitterness and sweetness. Yeah. So we get to abstain from things that will not encourage the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to be spoken in our lives. And once we begin to abstain, we must engage. Engage with engage the Word of God. the Word of God. Engage with the Spirit of God that lives mm -hmm. on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. Engage with who God has called us yes. to be. Because remember, we are His workmanship. Yes. And He's created us in Christ Jesus unto good works mm -hmm. that before time, before I was even conceived mm -hmm. God had a plan for me so now that I'm born again mm -hmm. and I'm now mm -hmm. living his life mm -hmm. in me he's living his life through me then I am now becoming like him mm -hmm. I've made room for him that's right so I'm going to be an expression of him on the earth and you're saying well I can say the atmosphere that I work in it's easy for you to say that, but you know what? When you step into an atmosphere, you need to bring him there. Yes. You step into darkness. When yes. light shows up where darkness is, the light shines. Yes. The light is just being who we, it is. Yes. And so let us be salt. Let us be light. Yes. Let us begin to abstain from stuff. Let us begin to put to death mm -hmm. certain things in our mortal body mm -hmm. so that the life of Christ mm -hmm. can be formed in us and we begin to express his glory. And engage him. Yes. That's the point. We're not saying talk about him, discuss him, or preach him. You have to engage him. And connect with his spirit yes. so that there is no room for my flesh, Yay. nor your flesh. Yes. Hence, the word of God will have free course in my life and your life. And as that happens, you begin your faith yes. in God yes. begins to increase. Yes. Too many of us are preaching and teaching about our faith that we're not engaging by the spirit every single day. Yes. And I make no room for my flesh. Ah. Nor my, no, my carnal nature. 
because the Spirit of God fills me and overflows through me. Yes. So even when someone says something and does something which is contrary to you, because you engage in the Spirit of God, only the Spirit of God comes out of you. Only faith rises out and your mouth speaks the things that you have made room for. It's interesting. As you said that, what, what came to my mind was um, out of the abundance yes. of the heart, Amen. your mouth is going to speak. That's right. We are going to begin to mm -hmm. respond yes. like Jesus responded. Amen. He's looking for his sons and daughters yes. to manifest his glory yes. on the earth. Yes. Now is the time. Yes. So make room for him mm -hmm. in your life that will impact mm -hmm. and leave an impression mm -hmm. on those in your family, mm -hmm. in your personal family, in your community, at work, in church, in the fellowship you're a part of, wherever you are, because we you've made room for him, it is affecting change and leaving an impression wherever you go. We want to thank you for joining us. Yes. And again, we are getting so excited yes. about September 30th. Yes. That is just around the corner. Definitely. Yes. 20 plus years wow. in the Durham region. Yeah, we've been ministering for over 30 years. But being, being in the Durham region where we are yes. located, we've been here in this particular region and community plus. for 20 plus years.